Before we jump into the wild world of custom firmware, let's talk about where everyone starts, the official firmware. This is what comes on your flipper right out of the box, made by the same people who built the hardware. Their whole philosophy is about making something that's stable, reliable, and totally legal. Think of it as the perfect starting point. It's rock solid and a great way to learn the basics without any risk. You get access to all the core features, sub gigahertz for things like garage door openers, RFID and NFC for badges and key cards, an infrared that can learn from your TV remote, and bad USB for running scripts on a computer. Honestly, you should spend your first couple of weeks on the official firmware. It's the best way to get a feel for the device before you decide you need more. But that safety and stability comes with some trade-offs. The main one everyone talks about is the regional lock of the sub gigahertz radio. The firmware only lets you transmit on frequencies that are for civilian use in the country where you bought it. While that keeps you out of trouble, it could be a roadblock for security researchers who need to work with a wide range of signals. The official firmware gives you a safe curated experience, but it leaves the training wheels on. 